As you can see, I'm dressed a little bit differently today. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about aerobic versus anaerobic activity. And we have a book review for you, <clears throat> a book called In Fitness and in Health by Dr. Philip Maffetto. So very, very often I have athletes who come into my practice and they are exercising the wrong way and they're injuring themselves. So Dr. Philip Maffetone, Dr. Philip Maffetone has trained more Olympic athletes than any other trainer in history, to the best of my knowledge. And he talks a great deal about how to properly train without injuring yourself. It's very ironic that in almost every high school you go to today, you actually see the students in the high school when training out on the track or doing other types of exercises, more often than not, they're exercising in such a way that sets them up to injure their hearts and their adrenal glands and the thyroid glands and their overall physical body. So I know you're wondering, you know, what the heck am I talking about? So I'm going to go into it with you and explain. When it comes to exercise, there's two types of exercise that you can do. There's aerobic exercise, and then there's anaerobic exercise. Anaerobic exercise is exercise in which you're using uh, mainly fast twitch muscles. They're called, um, well, they're fast twitch muscles. They're like the the white meat of the chicken rather than the brown meat. <laughs> and they uh, tend to use up uh, a great deal of oxygen very quickly. So at any rate, these anaerobic muscles fatigue very fairly rapidly as well. When doing anaerobic exercise, it can be quite stressful to the whole person, especially their heart, and their bones, their ligaments, their joints, their muscles, it actually breaks down tissue. Anaerobic exercise means quick, fast exercise that causes your heart rate to jump up very quickly, which then causes your body to burn sugar instead of burning fat. So this is not ideal. When you burn sugar, then you tend to need more sugar and burning sugar isn't good. Burning fat gives you two and a half times more energy than burning sugar. So I'm dressed up this way because I'm going to be demonstrating. I just came back from going swimming. It was quite nice. I think you missed out. And uh, I'm going to be demonstrating how the heart rate monitor works. So when you use a heart rate monitor, you're able to prevent your body from burning all of this sugar and get it more into a fat burning mode. See, if you burn fat, you get thin. If you burn sugar, you crave sugar, need more sugar, and end up storing sugar as fat, which causes you to get fat by burning fat. Doesn't really make sense. It's like you're eating things in addition to exercising in such a way that's making you fat. By doing anaerobic exercise, you encourage yourself to be unhealthy and a little bit overweight, otherwise known as fat. So by doing aerobic exercise, by exercising at the proper steady, even, balanced heart rate, you don't burn out, you strengthen the adrenal glands and improve their health, and you don't damage your heart. So I would really you know, encourage you to do aerobic exercise. Here's a heart rate monitor. We're going to go over how this works. There's all different kinds of formulas, but I'm just going to do a real simple one. I don't want to get fancy right now because you know, I'm not dressed too fancy. So why would I want to be all fancy on you? That doesn't make sense. So let's put on the heart rate monitor. This is a heart rate monitor from Polaris. It seems to work all right. Haven't had a whole lot of problems with it. Um, of course, I'm not promoting their, their company. So you put it right around the chest there. These tend to be one of the better heart rate monitors. 
Then you take the heart rate monitor, you know, watch, whatever you call it, that sends a signal, you know, the, the one on your around your chest sends the signal to the one that's on your wrist to make you aware of what your heart rate is. So we put that on. And don't forget the subject that we're addressing here is aerobic. versus anaerobic. Exercise. 